Selecting the right limbs for your lab can be an overwhelming task. There are so many limb solutions available, how can you be sure that you're getting the right limbs for your organization? The truth is that organizations often end up selecting their limbs for poor reasons. Maybe they really like the salesperson from a particular vendor, or one of their friends or colleagues said they liked the particular limbs, or the limbs demo was just so cool with all those bells, whistles, and flashing blue lights. So how can you make sure that you're choosing your limbs for the right reasons? You need to follow a process that ensures your selection is completely objective. You need to take the emotion, hearsay, and all the distractions out of the picture. Your process is start with figuring out your needs and requirements, then prioritizing them. Now, we know you've heard this a million times, and you believe that you are just too busy to go to all this effort, but there are very good reasons to do this. If you don't, you won't really know what you need your limbs to be able to do, and you can get easily distracted by those flashing blue lights. Also, if you don't, you won't really know what's really important to you, what your must-haves, should-haves, and nice-to-haves really are. And when you do this, you will get all the limb stakeholders involved, which will give them ownership of the choice and will increase your limb's adoption and utilization rates. In addition to just talking to all the stakeholders about their needs, another great way to capture this information is to document your workflows and then optimize them. Why optimize? Because we have always done it this way does not really mean that this way is the best way. Also, doing so will increase your lab's efficiency and you will avoid the garbage in, garbage out syndrome. Now that you have a good understanding of your needs, requirements, workflows, and priorities, you can begin your limb selection process in earnest. Remember, selecting your limbs needs to be an objective exercise, so care must be taken to be as analytical as possible and to make sure an even playing field is maintained among the potential vendors. You will need to develop a comprehensive request for proposal that should be sent to a variety of limbs vendors. Be sure to give each vendor the same information and amount of time to respond. When you analyze the RFP responses, you must do so objectively, so creating and using a RFP evaluation matrix with a scoring and weighting system is highly recommended. Once you've narrowed down your LIMS vendor field, it's time for the LIMS demos. Again, to keep things objective and to make sure you get to see what is important to you, it is critical to develop and provide a demonstration script. Be sure to give the script to each participating vendor for an equal amount of time prior to their scheduled demo to maintain that even playing field we talked about earlier. A demonstration scorecard that lists exactly what to look for in the demo with appropriate weighting factors should be used to maintain objectivity when rating those demos. Based on the RFP response and demonstration scores, you can now make your objective limb selection and be confident that you have chosen the limbs that best fits your needs. To obtain more information on the selection process, Check out our blog, Five Questions to Ask When Choosing a Limbs, and download our information sheet on the limb selection process.